Hey everyone, welcome to Connie's Journey. I started this YouTube channel so that I could share a little bit about my life as a wife, a mom, a business owner, and a patient living with autoimmune illness. In October of 2018, I had life-changing surgery and I'd like to share a little bit about my journey with you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back to Connie's Journey. Today I wanted to go over some hydration and snack tips that I do ever since I got my ileostomy. Prior to surgery, I was always very dehydrated as well because the inflammation in my body was so high. So I already started to get used to that. Once I had the surgery, I was able to kind of tell that that was what was causing a lot of my um, nausea that I was having, my um, tiredness, I was just feeling kind of weak. And I realized after surgery, when I would drink water very slowly or some type of liquid that I would start to feel much better and not as nauseous and then I would make myself eat something so that way I would have a balance of some nutrition in my body as well as hydration. So first thing I wanna recommend is that you get yourself some type of water bottle. I have two that I use all the time, chronically unbreakable of course, this holds about 20 ounces and keeps your drinks hot and cold for about six hours each. So if you want something hot, it should last about six hours. If you want something cold, it lasts about six hours. This holds 20 ounces. This one holds 32 ounces. So it's kind of heavy and not as convenient when you hold it the way a smaller bottle is, but it does hold 32 ounces. So every time I leave the house, depending on where I'm going, I make sure to take one of these with me I also keep in my trunk a small ice chest that I got on, guess what, Amazon. Um, it's fabric kind of material and I can put up a picture of it and it holds, I believe it's 20 water bottles. So I keep that in my car all the time just in case my day gets longer than expected because 32 ounces of water is just not gonna be enough. Aside from water, I always keep Pedialyte packets with me. I know a lot of people turn to vitamin water and Gatorade, and I'm not against that. It can help in certain situations. However, the sugar content is so high that um, I'm not a big fan of sugar because your body really shouldn't have too much of it. So, we've got two different size Pedialyte packets here, okay? This one will go into a 16 ounce water bottle and this one only has six grams of sugar. I wanna say that the Gatorade is about 20 or 30 grams of sugar. So you guys definitely wanna check that out, okay? The other size that I have also can go into 16 ounces of water or 24 ounces of water. It's about, it's almost double the size of the other one. So I carry both of them with me just in case I wanna do half the packet with some water and then half the packet later. This one has a content sugar of only 12 grams. So again, you're still really on the low end because sugar can make you feel better and feel like you have energy and then you think you're hydrated enough and then all of a sudden you come down from the sugar and you're actually not hydrated enough and then you start to feel nauseous and weak again. So I recommend that you keep some of the Pedialyte packets with you, you can get them on. Amazon as well. You can also get them, you know, at your local Target, probably CVS or Walgreens has them as well. Um, I know they sell Pedialyte like in a bottle because a lot of us who've had kids, we used to have to give that to our kids. But you can also get it in the bottle form. I like these packets because I can just throw them in my bag and I'm ready to go and I can open it at any time. So moving on from my hydration, because that's basically what I do to stay hydrated. Lots and lots of water, sipping it throughout the day. Um, when I do drink the water, I take small sips and probably every five to 10 minutes, sometimes I'll drink a little bit more at a time, but you, you, if you drink it slower, your body doesn't process it as fast. Sometimes you feel like you're drinking so much water and then you're just going to the restroom and then you're basically losing what you're giving yourself. So that with the balance of a snack actually keeps it in your body a little bit longer. So let's move on to the snacks because I'm all about snacks. So, in keeping hydrated, I always make sure I have snacks with me. Crackers that have salt and peanut butter, because it has protein, and I do this peanut butter from Sprouts, and it is organic. And 
this snack right here gives me exactly what I need if I feel like I'm kind of crashing and I need to eat something. My body processes food pretty quickly. I've always had a pretty good metabolism and now that I have an ileostomy, I feel like things kind of move even quicker. So I definitely keep crackers and peanut butter. My other favorite thing that I keep are these Siete chips. These ones are sea salt, but they come in ranch. They also come in nacho cheese. They come in, I think, like a lime flavor. And we usually buy all of them, and I put some in a little Ziploc bag, and I always make myself a sandwich. Peanut butter sandwich, turkey sandwich, roast beef sandwich, and I don't leave the house without the water or the snacks because I don't know necessarily how I'm gonna be feeling. You know, the more activity you do, your body does burn through the fluids and the food very quickly. Also, this is a great snack to carry with you. I'm sure all of you guys have remembered like these beef sticks. I used to eat them all the time when I was little. However, these ones are 100% grass fed. You can get them from Country Archer. Go online to their website and order a box of them. I love these. They are absolutely delicious and it makes you feel like you're actually eating something rather than just having some crackers or some chips. So aside from the food and, and the hydration, it's very important that um, when you leave the house that you have what you need all with you because if anything happens while you're out, um, you don't wanna have to call 911 because I've been in that situation. So never leave the house without your drinks. Never leave the house without your snacks, and it should end up being a great day. Thanks for joining Connie's journey again. Stay tuned for the, whatever's coming up next.